ride-hailing app Uber welcomed the news media Tuesday to its Advanced Technology Center in Pittsburgh to show off its self-driving car technology. Engineers retrofitted this fleet of about two dozen Ford Fusions with lasers, radar, sensors, and cameras to create cars that can drive themselves in urban environments. Starting Wednesday, Pittsburgh Uber users can sign up for the possibility of a ride in a self-driving car when they order an Uber X. This isn't a totally driverless car, though, because an Uber employee will be sitting in the driver's seat at all times, keeping their hands lightly on the wheel so they're ready to take over if the car needs help navigating a complex situation. But this car can brake, accelerate, and steer in many tricky city environments. Well, we just came up to a stoplight where a uh, city bus had stopped and was making a pretty wide right-hand turn, and the self-driving Uber came to complete stop safely behind the bus and uh, allowed it to turn and then navigated through the intersection safely. So that's an example where self-driving cars can handle the situation pretty easily already. Although completely autonomous vehicles are still miles away, the auto industry and tech sector believe that one day Speed driverless cars could eliminate roadway road deaths enough. altogether. The first step getting people comfortable with the technology. Well, I'm behind the wheel of the self-driving Uber. We're at, at a complete stop, parked in the parking lot in front of the Uber Advanced Technology Center, and I just rode through the streets of Pittsburgh uh, uh, behind the self-driving Uber and allowed the car to take over. And it was interesting because the car was able to handle most situations, but when there's when it loses the visual of the streetlight, for example, there can still be an issue. So there are advancements to be made in the algorithms and LiDAR and radar technology, but Clearly, Uber is making significant advancements here uh, on their self-driving cars.